Hello there, I'm meteorologist Corey Thompson here with this forecast update. Most of your Thursday will be spent pretty quiet. There are some clouds around this morning. We may see a bit more clearing this afternoon. Temperatures reach the 40s. Winds actually won't be as strong today either, so not too bad of a day. It's all ahead of a storm system that brings us the chance for snow. It's waiting toward tonight into Friday. That's why a winter weather advisory has been posted for areas along and north of Highway 20. That's where most of the precipitation will take place as snow as it falls. And so that's why the best chance of accumulation is in those areas. Pinpoint feature cast shows the otherwise quiet picture as we go through the day. Notice that there's patches of clearing, patches of clouds, and generally light winds. Now by tonight, cloudier skies eventually develop, and the possibility of some scattered light precipitation as soon as just before midnight in the north, but more likely after midnight, and then spreading and becoming a bit more widespread, again, especially in the north. Notice how it is mainly falling as snow there, and a bit of a transition zone between Highway 30 to Highway 20. We're likely to see that sort of trend continue as we head into Friday morning. Snowfall rates could be much moderate to maybe even heavy at times in areas north of Highway 20, which is why the snow will likely stick there a bit more. And then we'll see that precipitation swing through the entire area as we go through the morning. Snow could take place about as far south as Highway 30. I think the point future cast a little aggressive with the extent of that in its southward nature, but the precipitation ends by late morning or early afternoon at the latest. Snowfall forecast calling for two to four inches along and north of Highway 20, pretty much in that advisory area. A trace to two inches for that band to the south, but I think many areas within that band will be on the lower end of that scale. It's going to be a pretty sharp ramp up to those higher amounts in the north just due to that potential area of some higher snowfall rates. We'll be keeping a close eye on it. And of course, you just got to, if you live in the north, especially plan on some slick roads for your Friday morning commute. Now, our active weather pattern continues. It's not long before the next storm system arrives. Saturday is spent dry and a good chunk of Friday, too, before precipitation becomes possible again Saturday night into Sunday, especially. That's when it could start as some snow, eventually transition to either a rain-snow mix or all rain by the time we get towards Sunday night into Monday for many of us. Could be a few rumbles of thunder as we start off the work and school week as warmer air gets involved. Involved, but then some cooler air could get involved too on the back side of the system. Maybe a bit of a rain snow mix as it exits. So yes, a busy several days ahead it includes a pretty windy set of days too. It will be windier on Friday and then especially Sunday through Tuesday as that storm system moves through the region. Uh, some drier weather for the middle of next week for another storm system possible by the end of it. Thanks for watching this update.